Miss Gail with Bringing to Life. Tonight, for Craft Series 2017, I am bringing you cards. I went through uh, most of my scrap paper. Um, I had two boxes. I'm down to a box and a half. And I am just going to make a quick Halloween card. Um, during the craft fair last year, that is the one thing that I really sold a lot of was my Halloween cards. Um, I have one here just to show you. Um, all it is, it's a little Halloween cutout. And I just I already did this today. I used one of my tags that says Happy Halloween. Just tag them all up. I usually do an assembly line. And just use some of my uh, scrap paper. On the inside, I just measured um, the inside and cut out um, an insert and then stamped it with a couple of stamps. That's it. And the envelope is really basic simple. All I did was cut out a medallion and stuck it to the bat and those my friends when light our cakes now I have this kind of paper that I had purchased whoops with all of the Halloween uh, pictures on it you can go on Etsy and Pinterest and they have a lot of these designs on there also at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and um, Joanne's fabric they have these pages which I'm trying to get here they have these uh, 12 by 12 pages that already have like these um, pocket cards and those as well make great cards all you need to do is cut them out and stick it in the front this is the Halloween one I already started cutting it and that will be for my smaller cards so let me go ahead and show you how fast, if you pre-cut everything, how fast you can pre assemble like six cards. All right, so I have purchased these uh, packages of black cards at Hobby Lobby. I think they were like $5.99. You get a whole pack and the envelopes. And then I, like I said, I am just using my uh, scrap paper. I just grabbed uh, one of my little pieces of yellow paper. See, I have some paper left. And I am just pre-stamping. So these are for the top of the card. I just had my sample. So I'm making pretty much almost the same layout, but the picture changes and some of the color changes. So it, it kind of looks like a different card. And on the inside though, they are all the same. So I just went ahead and used my ink and I'm inking and I'm just making, you know, a bunch of these little tags there. Stamp it. And I keep stamping. So that's how you prepare to mass assemble. And you get them all cut out. I round off my corners and you just put them all together. So that's the first step that I do. Then I cut my little medallion because on my card underneath, if you didn't see, there is a little medallion here. So I just cut my medallion and I pile them all up. I did get all of my cards ready, all of the centers, and then I just stamp them and I had piled them all up. These I already glued on with my tape. This one isn't, so I'm just going to do that real quick. And I just had a little bit of tape on each corner, and one in the middle, and it holds pretty good. And then you just want to center it, center it, and there you go. And this, if you have a bunch of this and you just mass assemble, you'll get a ton of cards ready in no time. And like I said, for some reason last year, my Halloween cards flew off the shelf. Well, I guess it's because maybe it was a week before um, Halloween and some people didn't have them. But they're cute to have and it shows a variety of what you can do. And I really, out of all my crafts, I do miss making cards a lot. So you just assemble these right here. And there you go. But I'm going to show you first what I did. I just took my paper and I just bought these stamps from Hobby Lobby. They're the Halloween ones from last year. They might have a different one this year. And then you just stamp. I just stamped my owl first. Ink it all up really good. And then I just did it in the corner here. Look how cute. I really got to wash my stamps. And then I had the bats in the corner. So once you get all these things ready like this, it is super, super easy to put together. 
and you can mass produce cards. Maybe you don't want to make too many of them. Maybe you just want to make like 20 of them or so. Oops. Then you just, I just do my corner in the middle, like I said. Oops. Well, maybe not that one. Anyways, and then you just put it in the center. Okay, so now we ha we're working on making one, two, three, four, five, six. So six cards. So all I do is I just assemble at the top. And I am going to use these images that I got, the bigger one, because they look better on the cards. I especially like the cat and the cat and the pumpkin. So what you want to do is you just want to put a, um, you're going to need your cutting board for this. And I just cut, you know, different shapes. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to fill up the whole entire page. But if you want, oh, that's black on black. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to use that. And then I just kind of mark where I want to cut it. I don't even measure. I just cut. Basically. And I'm just going to, can you see that? Yeah. And you can recut this prior to, I just grabbed it and pulled it all out, so. But you can cut all of these prior to if you want to and get everything ready. And then I kind of pre-assemble, and then I want to bring in some of the oranges. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this over here. And I will not throw this piece away because at some point I might go ahead and use that. I just kind of assemble it. I think I really want to do this um, kitty cat with a pumpkin on this one. Like this. And then you just want to do a medallion and one of your little signs. Like that. So then I'm just going to take this all off and assemble. And within minutes I made a card. And my cards, I usually sell for $1 a piece. Oh, not the Halloween ones. I apologize. I just saw. I priced the Halloween cards at $2. Because it's a little bit more and I did have to get some things. Um, the books are expensive. I got these images from um, on Amazon. put it straight if you want to. I like to put down my little, little angle. It adds texture and look at that. Happy Halloween. Look how cute. And then you have your inside. And I wouldn't use the same um medallion in the back I would probably switch it around to maybe a um, little bit more bright and I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna go ahead and use this fab this thing I'm just gonna use a small medallion to have color in the back and what you do in the back is you put open your envelope and just put it at the top so you don't there you go and when I package it, and I will put a, the packaging number, what, what kind of packages is in my comments. But there we go. Isn't that cute? And I have a little uh, thing in my back of my card that uh, says thank you. And that's just a stamp and those um, um, labels. So there you have it, a little Halloween card. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make these. So you can see how fast you can make cards. And of course I'm talking and filming at the same time. So it takes a little bit longer. Oh, that's cute. It's going to go like this. 
And I think for that one, I am going to use this. And I am going to use this little, uh, these are just leftover paper that I had that I am using. And of course, again, I'm not throwing that away. And you just assemble your card. It makes it so much easier, you guys, when you actually prep in advance, like I said. Oops, I almost forgot to. Come on. There we go. And this one's going to go up there. I'm going to go ahead and stick the medallion down here. And a little Halloween sticker here. Here's a second card. Look how fast I am pulling these cards out, like super fast. And again, you need a little medallion. And I'm just using, see how this one has all the holes? I'm just going to rip this off here. Use my little medallion. Make sure I can get in there somehow. There you go. And you again, oops, open your envelope. Actually, if you feel better just to put it on this first, you can. Stick your little medallion. Here's your second card. And on the inside. And in the back, that's two cards. Third card. I am actually going to do a, a um, little girl with a kitty cat. So I kind of want to bring some colors. This is kind of cute. So I think I'm going to go like this. Like this. And I need a cross one. And I'm going to bring bats. Yes. So, oops, I ran out of tape. It's okay. Move this on. And that's what I love my my new craft room. I just have everything right in place. Locked and loaded. Well, actually, you can even do it like this if you want to. That's kind of cute. No, I'd rather have it on its side. Right there. There we go. You can sit there on a Saturday night and make a bunch of cards and by the time you know it you'll have 20 30 cards there you go and what I did on this on these little ones I went ahead and used um, if I can find it now I lost it but I just run it off my corners something that I cannot find so since my desk is a mess right now, I cannot find it. I'm just going to go ahead and put it here real quick. Let me see here. I'm going to pause. Did I find well, that just took a second to find it. And then you just use your corner cutter here. I just think it looks better. It looks finished. It has a finished look to it. And there you go. And then an envelope. And this time, I am just going to see, I have this here, I'm just going to use this paper, let's see if it fits. I should be able to pull two medallions out, yes. I love using my little scrap papers. Open it, add a little tape at the end, put your little medallion. Here comes the other card. Finished. Isn't that cute and fun and easy, you guys? So, 
I made three cards already and that's super easy that's super fun and that's basically how I make my cards so I just wanted to show you real quick how fast you can make your cards for Halloween just by using your scrap paper now don't forget to uh, decorate. When I package them, as you see here, I turn the envelope so the medallion is showing. And I sell these for $2 a piece. So I hope you enjoy Craft Series 2017 number 5, and I will see you all tomorrow. Remember, I bring things home, I bring it with love, and I bring it to life. Thank you so much for all of your subscription, your comments, your like, and please keep continuing to share.